I had great kids and a great experience at Indiana while I've been here. I hope to have great kids and a great experience where I go from here to coach. There really is not a day that goes by that I don't think about um, playing for Coach Knight. You know, that's kind of the that's kind of the peak of my life. You know what I'm saying? And, and in terms of when I grow up, when, when I'm five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, on into my teen years, that's kind of the pinnacle. I mean, that's the peak. That's what I dream about. I don't, I don't dream about the NBA or 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 gosh, I mean, uh, with all due respect to my wife, I mean, the, the marriage, the kid. That's not what I dreamt about. I mean, I thank God every day that I have a wonderful wife and an unbelievable child. That's not what I dreamt about, though. I mean, it was playing, literally, for Coach Knight at Indiana. But this persistent and troubling pattern of behavior has led me to only one conclusion. In an early morning telephone conversation with Coach Knight today, I gave him the option of resigning as head basketball coach. He declined, and I notified him that he was being removed as basketball coach effective immediately because Sundays when they marched on President Brand's house <laughs> it's funny you know I had some compassion I was angry with President Brand but I had some compassion too um, I went there and I went there just as a spectator obviously to see you know I wanted to see some uh, I wanted to ultimately identify with the students I was, it was night and it was dark and I don't think anybody knew I was there, but they were starting to get crazy. I mean, they're throwing rocks and starting to get up close and so I just said, I knew coach was coming back and I said, hey, look, coach is going to speak to you. I said to somebody, these guys had loudspeakers and I said, coach is going to speak to you guys, you know, tonight he'll be at assembly hall. And I didn't know whether I was doing something wrong or not, but I wanted to get those kids away from President Brand's house. Bob Knight is a legendary coach at a school with a legendary basketball reputation. I pledge to that. I think that uh, the way, you know, again, the way it was handled was, was, it was mishandled. Consultation and deep thought is in the best long run interest of Indiana University. I'll always love Indiana University, but Bob Knight, you know, the, the firing of Bob Knight took something you know, took something out of me. And as I leave here, I'd like each of you to just take a minute, a full minute to bow your heads and in whatever way you do, wish myself and my family the very I best. I think we all stood up and did I this. As I wish you the very best. And I think that was probably one of the last one of the last times that I had a, I mean, that, that, that's, I mean, I haven't had a full conversation with him since.